Uh, I was out visiting my daughter in Portland, Oregon, and there were a bunch of shoe boxes in the back of her truck. I said, what's this for? And she said, well, what we do is, uh, you know, kids that get pulled out of their home, uh, what we try to do is make certain that they have something to, to take with them. So, you know, simple things. Oh, a nightlight, kids moving into a different location, they're probably a little bit a little bit frayed, uh, you know, there's a flashlight. There's some fun things to do to kind of take their mind off of what's going on. So when I came back, I met with Katrina from DHHR over there, and so we, we talked about it a little bit. She thought it was a good idea. We think it's a terrific idea. So that's how, that's how it evolved. Denny and I have kind of worked together on other things because I mainly deal with youth services, but Denny knew who I was, so he contacted me and he had the idea from his daughter and kind of talked about things that would be appropriate, things that wouldn't be appropriate and thought it would be a good idea. He had a list of things already and a lot of them were appropriate such as like coloring books or flashlights or toothbrushes. Didn't want anything like aerosol cans, that kind of stuff some people can't have, but just wanted things that would make somebody maybe feel a little bit more comfortable. A lot of times when we remove them, they leave the house with nothing. So this gives them at least something to take with them. We've had donations before for things, and we've had stuff in our office like blankets or toys, and the kids get really excited when we give them just a blanket or a stuffed animal or toy. So this is something they can take with them, and usually it depends on the age group, but a lot of them, I mean, they appreciate having something. You know, starting with about 35 boxes, I think they had about 165 kids pulled out of the home last year. So we don't want them to necessarily hold all these boxes there so we're going to put them together and hold them and then every so often when they have a need for more we'll just deliver them. Some people donated, uh, we had some people donated and like school of dentistry donated but it was, it was mostly from individuals, word of mouth. You know I was at a breakfast with a friend of mine and I just mentioned it he thought it was a good idea so he sent us a check and then others either put a box together and dropped it off for we use some of the money to do that. We want to continue it. We think it's a great idea. Uh, you know, kid kid gets pulled out of the home. If they're seven years old, I mean, it's got to be an awfully difficult time for them. And not that this is going to change their lives, but it might make them a little bit more comfortable, a little bit more easy, uh, feel easier with the people that, you know, that they're with for, for a period of time.